Welcome to the Robismo Project Virtual Library. The Virtual Library is one of three interactive online tools developed as part of the Robismo Project to support rural enterprise development across the European Union. The Virtual Library, the Transformation Support Tool and the Cooperation Toolkit. Access to the library is on the homepage of the project, robismo.eu. Through the menu under business tools and also through this link. Across the three interlinked areas of rural enterprise and focus in the project food, bio based value chains, and ecosystem services. The library contains an expanding collection of very different, inspiring rural businesses that have been developed successfully in various regions across Europe. Each business is described in detail on a dedicated page for visitors to better understand the background and success factors and gather some tips from business owners to replicate success at home. The library addresses in particular current and future entrepreneurs looking to start or develop their business in rural areas. The tool is open to everybody, the novice and the seasoned entrepreneur. It's also of great value to those who foster and support new rural enterprise, such as networks and clusters, rural advisors, rural development agencies or policy makers, as well as researchers and agricultural scientists in the field. The library is there to inspire, to show what's possible, what success looks like, and to uncover the nuts and bolts, the challenges, solutions and lessons learned by successful rural businesses so they can be more easily replicated. When you first arrive in the library, you have two options. Explore the library by yourself. You'll have a good idea pretty quickly what captures your interest. The other option is to do a more systematic search using filters. You can explore by sector and subsector. For example, you're a farmer looking to explore new opportunities. So maybe organic is something that might interest you. You're looking for inspiration for a new tourist venture, something different never seen in your locality before. Are there some ideas here? You can take as many subsectors as you want in different filters. For example, tourism and services. or indeed all subsectors. Reset will always clean the slate. You can narrow your search by business size and type. For example, you're involved in a cooperative, so this filter might be useful. You can also focus on innovative aspects, for example, new sales channels. Where you might quickly learn how to order fish from your home in Denmark. You can filter by country or countries to see examples from your own country
or indeed any of the other 10 countries in the consortium. You get the idea. There's also a search function. To start with, play around with the tool. Get familiar with mouse controls and filter options. Let's look at the hypothetical example. I'm a small farmer in the west of Ireland. This is farming as my parents, grandparents knew it. Cattle and sheep and maybe some vegetables for the table. Not many options or much variety. The drop in labour intensity is really the biggest change in the Irish farming model in 100 years. Because my farm is tiny, just 30 acres, I really need to try something different for myself to make a living from the land. I really don't enjoy working full time away from the land and trying to squeeze in farming at night. I live near Galway, a major tourist and population centre in Ireland, and know there are tourist, op tourist opportunities which might just offer something for the farm. Here I am in the Rubismo Library. I'm looking for inspiration at this stage, so I'll keep my search pretty broad. I don't want to miss anything. I know I'll be back again and can always narrow my searches at that stage. A general search under tourism in Ireland is where I'll start. These two cases are interesting. I haven't come across them before. What's a community bog? Become a sheep herder for a day. Let's see what else might be out there. I, I reset and select all countries. Because I'm particularly interested in new markets, I'll select that filter as well. This Italian tourism business looks interesting. Let's discover more. When you click on Discover, you can dig deeper. Under Background, you can find the often humble origins of the business idea. Under Main Activities, what the business or project is actually doing and changes since startup. Market, who are the customers addressed and how does the firm engage with them? Where does revenue come from? Challenges and solutions. What challenges did or does the company meet and what of the solutions? Funding. What was the level of investment? Where did this investment come from? Did the company project receive public money, etc.? What makes the case innovative? What's new in this business idea? What makes it different from others? And how can this contribute to economic, social and environmental welfare in rural areas? Finally, lessons learned. Advice directly from the owners. What helped them to be successful? what they would change if they would have to do it again. Putting my enterprising farmer's hat back on, what stands out from this specific example? The importance of standards and the help of that certification. 
the use of social media in marketing and wide range of original activities. The importance of customer service and that special welcome that the owner talks about. While the cash heavy investment might make this model for me unrealistic, at least at this time, there's definitely something to be learned from this enterprise. I'm going to print off the study and come back to it later. Going back to the Irish Sheep Herding Initiative. I like the idea of leader funding. the diversity of experiences. Location is similar to my own. The group visits only maybe makes for more regular income as do the tour bus contacts. in-house training, very similar to the Italian example. The video really sells the business well. Financially, there seems to be a lot of support for this kind of business. And the overall financial model seems reasonable. This is an example to look into further. One final aspect of Robismo is the ability to share your own rural enterprise with us. In fact, to keep the library dynamic and growing, we need your engagement. If you would like to share your own experience with us, you can click on this button where you will be redirected to this questionnaire. It'll take a couple of minutes to complete. You'll be contacted if your business is suitable for promotion on the virtual library. Hopefully at this stage you have a good understanding of the Rubism Virtual Library and can see its potential for your own rural enterprise ambitions. Who knows what it might lead to? For a bit of practice, take a few minutes to find the answers to the following questions. Afterwards, you can check out how well you did. The answers are to be found in the resources section on the front page of the website.